afternoon, guys. So we've got a bit of Pearl Mash this afternoon. Um, hopefully, when you log into Pearl Mash, you'll see this screen. Now, I have had a go at doing what we're doing this afternoon. I have done it on my phone and I've done it on an iPad. So it is possible to do it. It will be trickier if you can do it on phone and iPad. So if you have got a computer or a laptop you can use, have a go at it on there first. If not, don't worry, just try and do it carefully. It's, it's the first time I try and pearl mash from home, so don't worry too much about it. Just give it your best shot and let me know how it goes. If it doesn't work, then we'll, I'll have a look at something else we can do for next week. I just thought, you know what, first week we'll give it a try, all right? So let me know how it goes. I'm going to show you now what we need to do, and then we'll go from there. So you will have an alert up here that says to go to two calculate. Okay, I'm not having an alert, so I'm going to click on two calculate. But when you click on your alert, it will bring up this a screen that looks something like this. Let me just get a new one. So you'll get this, you need to click on sheet, and then you need to click on this FX button. Okay, that will bring up this grid. All right, now. We're going to try and create a table today that finds out the area of a rectangle without us doing any maths. All right, no maths on heads, the computers are all for us. So I want you to do the following things. First thing you need to do is in A1, click in the box A1 and write the word height. Okay, feel free to pause this at any point so you can go and do it and then come back to the instructions. Okay, so if you need to go and do that now, then pause the video, put height in A1 and then come back to it. In the second column in B1, all right, so I've found B, I've found one. Second one, we're going to put width. And then in the next one, we're going to put the word area. And the next one, of course, we're going to put the word perimeter. Okay, so if I move that box away now, you should have in the first four boxes height, width, area, and perimeter written in. All right, so well done if you have. If you haven't, pause it now, get those bits done, and then come back to it. So we are then going to put in two numbers into height and width, okay? So for these first two columns, I would like to put in the number two and the number four, okay? So once you put the number two and the number four in, then we need to find a formula to work out how to find the area, okay? So the formula to work out the area, that's something we'll have discussed on our Zoom session this afternoon. Now we know to find the area, you have to multiply the height and the width together. So I'm going to click in this box and I'm going to type up here. This is where we type our formulas for that box, okay? So I'm going to put an equal sign and then I'm going to put, I want the box A2, that's this one here, you can see it's just been highlighted. And I'm going to just star as a multiply sign and I'm going to put the box B2. So now, if I press enter now, this box should come up with the answer of those two multiplied together, which you should be able to tell them what the answer is out loud now. So everything, what is two times four? I think we should all know that the answer should be eight. So I press enter, my answer is eight. Okay. Now I'm going to drag, click in that box, and I'm going to drag this blue line all the way down. Do not worry about the error messages for now. We will deal with them in a bit. Okay. That's just because there's no numbers in any of these boxes. But that means now, if I put in any numbers in here, say for instance, 10 and two, I know the area of that rectangle will be 20. If I have a rectangle with a height of five and a width of nine, the area will be 45, okay? So that is our area bit done. The second stage is you need to go into your perimeter and you need to, we need to work out another formula for perimeter. So we know that if I go click on perimeter box and then I go back to my formula box up here, we know to work out the perimeter, I'm going to need to open up my brackets. I'm going to need two lots of the height because it will be the same height on both sides. Inside my brackets, I do A2 times two and then close my brackets. And then to work, I need two lots of my width as well to go the full way around the rectangle. So I'm going to have B2 times by two. So that should be the formula you need to write down in that box up there. A2 times two plus B2 times two inside two separate brackets and press enter. That is our perimeter for a rectangle of a height of two and a width of four. And again, I can drag that down and that brings up all our other perimeters too. So now no matter what number I put into these boxes, we're going to do some really crazy ones. It's going to tell us the area and perimeter every single time, nice and quickly. Saves a lot of maths work because you've got an Excel spreadsheet that does it for you.
So good luck with that. By the end of the day, I would like you to have a go at creating a spreadsheet that will be able to tell you the area in perimeter just like I have done, okay? I want it to look exactly the same and your two formulas you need are this one here and then drag the blue box down when you're done and this one here, drag the blue box down, all right? So have a go. Like I said, if it doesn't work, don't worry about it. Just do your best, all right? So good luck, guys. I'll see you later.